हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज शक्ति भन यादव आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माई प्रोजेक्ट विथ माई को पार्टनर्स निधि एंड करण वालिम्बे विच इज गाइडेड बाई विक्रम गोरे सर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ शिवाजी राव जुनले कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्माकोलॉजी माई टॉपिक नेम इज ए सी इनिवेटर एक्टिविटी ऑफ इथेनॉलिक एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ सीडियम गोजावा लिप्स बाई इनिवेट्रो मैथड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ हाइपरटेंसर वॉट इज हाइपरटेंसर हाइपरटेंसर इज ऑल्सो नोन एज हाई ब्लड प्रेशर इट इज अ मेडिकल कंडीशन वेर द फोर्स ऑफ ब्लड अगेंस्ट द वॉल ऑफ हाइट्री इज कंसिस्टेंसली हाई इन जनरल द हाइपरटेंसन रेंजेस फ्रॉम वन ट्वेंटी टू एटी द वन ट्वेंटी इज द सिस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर एंड द एटी इज डायस्टोलिक ब्लड प्रेशर हाइपरटेंसल इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फिफ्टी सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द डेथ ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट ऑफ ऑल द कॉरनरी हार्ट डिसीज डेथ इन इंडिया एंड द डब्ल्यू एच रेट्स द हाइपरटेंसन एज अ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉज ऑफ प्री मेच्योर डेथ वर्ल्ड वाइड द ग्लोबल एंड रीजनल बर्डन ऑफ डिसीज एंड रिस्क फैक्टर स्टडी इन टू थाउजेंड वन इज अ सिस्टमिक ऑफ पॉपुलेशन हेल्थ डाटा for attributable death and the attributable disease border has ranked hypertension in south asia and second only child underweight for the age then we have to see the relationship between hypertension and the ace ace means angiotensin converting enzyme the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is a complex uh, physical system that uh, help to regulate blood pressure and fluid balance in the body this relationship of hypertension and ace we are going to see in the chart form first of all we you can see the liver which is secrete the angiotensin in angiotensinogen which is converted in angiotensin 1 with the help of renin renin which is secreted by the kidney and the angiotensin 1 is uh, converting into the angiotensin 2 with the help of ace ace angiotensin converting enzyme which is uh, secreted by the lungs and the angiotensin 2 which is uh, mainly responsible for the vasoconstriction which increase the blood pressure and is it is the first mechanism and second mechanism is the adrenal gland which is secrete aldosterone due to the angiotensin 2 which uh, increase the reabsorption of uh, nacl sodium chloride and uh, water which can increase the volume of the blood and uh, directly increase the blood pressure of the body uh, in the people hypertension the activity of ross system including ac is often evaluated this leads to increase in angiotensin 2 level which contribute to the development and maintenance of high blood pressure then the we are showing in this project the angiotensin 2 is inhibited ace is inhibited by inhibitors uh, which act as a increasing the blood pressure next uh, we are using the plant guajava uh, guava we are seeing the guava its biological name is sodium guava and one regular name is guava common guava yellow guava family is meritaceae and species is sodium guava this geographical source uh, early in the geographical source in mexico central america throughout the caribbean region caribbean region means uh, in the caribbean see the countries are present which is also called as a caribbean region and the chemical constituents of guava is flavonoid morin flavonol morin and morin 3 o lexosides morin 3 o arabinoside and quercetin and quaternin etc why we are using so uh, sodium guava leaves because due to the its uh, it is contain bioactive compound particularly flavonoid and uh, polyphenols polyphenols and this compound are uh, believed to the contribute to plant may have to anti hypertensive effect also so um, 
Also, some researchers suggest that the guazava leaves may exhibit SA inhibitor activity throughout. That is why we are using the sodium guazava leaves. Some medicinal use of guazava leaves are digest to health. Uh, it is used traditionally in diary and dysentery and other use are respiratory health. Guazava leaves have also been used to treat respiratory infections such as cough and cold. And third is wound healing and fourth is diabetes management cardiovascular health and sodium guazava leaves extraction process uh, the we are used the maceration process for extraction of guazava leaves active constituent maceration is a common method for extracting bioactive compound from the plant material including sodium guazava leaves the procedure involving soaking the plant material in the solvent uh, such as ethanol for a period of time allowing the solvent to extract the desired compound you can see in the in this picture extraction for the the material used in this extraction process is to uh, sedum goes or leaves ethanol and distilled water filter paper and glass wares and magnetic stirrer the extraction procedure is the first we have to call, collect the sodium goes or leaves and raise them in the distilled water so you can see in the image uh, and air dry the leaves uh, or use a paper towel to remove excess of water keep the leaves for a set drying for seven days once the leaves are dried make powder of leaves and add uh, ethanol to cover the leaves and close the container we are we have to use the ethanol in one is to ten such as uh, if uh, we are taking one gram of powder then we have to add 10 ml of ethanol and six point in the procedure place the container in the dark and cool place for a period of time to 48 to 72 hours and shake it occasionally after the maceration period filter the mixture through a filter paper to remove any solid and transfer the filter to clean beaker repeat the extraction process with fresh ethanol if necessary remove the ethanol by operation using a rotary evaporator or by placing the beaker in the magnetic stirrer at a low temperature until the solvent has evaporated. The resulting residue can be stored in the airtight container for further analysis or use. Note the maceration time and solvent to plant ratio can vary depending on the desired extraction efficiency and target compound. Additionally, it is important to maintain the temperature and cleanliness of the equipment to prevent contamination and the ensure accurate result you can see in this uh, picture the ethanol and powder of guazava leaves are mixed and this is uh, extracted in the right side this is a magnetic stirrer on which the petri dish are in the petri dish ex extracted the guazava leaves are poured and this is the pure drug which is dried by magnetic stirrer and uh, some property of this uh, drug is uh, it is soluble in water ethanol and methanol uh, it appear as a light brown to dark green order of this uh, drug is the order can be described as the herbaceous slightly fruity and slightly astringent stored in a cool and dry and dark place to maintain the quality of and stability of this then this powder we have to turn the assay inhibitor assay we are sending the uh, sended this drug in the lab so we can't explain this procedure how it should be done next uh, we are going to see the observation table in this observation table we are compared to drug uh, first drug is uh, standard drug which is used as assay inhibitor and second our extract which is used the in the first table if you can see the concentration first uh, column concentration of standard captopril we are using the standard drug captopril 3.6 gram per ml uh, given thrice it uh, means come 0 0.036 and the percentage of inhibition sourced by capture pill is 84.27% uh, 
and the extract uh, extract of sodium cosaba leaves are given uh, 1000 microgram per ml which is 1 gram per ml which mean come 0.209 which means the it percentage of inhibition is 43.87 the our extract uh, so less activity than the captopril then it conclusion is extraction of sodium glucose leaves was prepared using ethanolic maceration method and an ethical product of maceration has been tested for hypertension activity using in vitro assay standard drug was captopril which was then compared to maceration product of sodium glucose leaves extraction the outcome of this study was revealed that sodium glucose leaves so moderate ACV inhibition activity angiotensin converting enzyme plays a vital role in pathogenesis of hypertension cardiovascular and renal disease sodium guazav leaves are also used in the anti cough activity treatment of gastrointestinal disease and increased platelet in patients suffering from dengue fever thank you so much